After challenging the very conventional means and patterns of doing business, traders here at the Regional Trade Initiative Market are adjusting to the new normal by embracing digital platforms such as Facebook and WhatsApp to be able to continue doing business and remain relevant in this trying and harsh economy that has been debilitated by the coronavirus. And the traders at Regional Trade Initiative Complex are doing just that. This is Maureen Kapisa, who has decided to move her business online by utilizing social media platforms such as Facebook and WhatsApp during COVID-19 pandemic. So I post my products on Facebook and I also use WhatsApp. I have a group. So since we had COVID and people were not able to like travel, those that are outside Lusaka, so they would buy items from me and then I would send them via bus. So that way at least we, so we were able to say we were able to earn something. Another budding entrepreneur, Tasheni Mwetwa, testifies to the wonders of social media entrepreneurship. I started advertising online, like on Facebook. Yeah, so most of the people used to call because I started advertising. Yeah. Well, people started calling, the response was good. Yeah, we started selling like uh, within, then outside Lusaka as well. Yeah, we, we sometimes they call us to go and deliver at, uh, their homes. Sometimes we, they just come to the shop. As President Edgar Lungu is expected to address the nation on the COVID-19 situation, Regional Trade Initiative President Davis Mombazi expects President Lungu to open up more of the business sector. So I think where we are going, we are going to the to the cash free where I don't touch the cash. The cash is transferred, you know, within these mobile mobile facilities. So I think on, online has worked and it's coming and this is, um, uh, I think COVID also, COVID-19 has taught us a loss, a lot actually. Whether things return to normal or not post-COVID-19, innovation and adaptation is non-negotiable for entrepreneurs. Diamond TV News, Wenson Mavor.